Today I'm going to demonstrate my um, line voltage distribution panel, which is this right here. Uh, basically, it's a row of uh, switches, which are each mapped to an outlet on the back, and each switch is actually a circuit breaker. Above each switch is an indicator lamp that is uh, on when the switch is off, and then off when the switch is on, and then turns on again if the breaker pops and the switch is down. Uh, below that, we have a line voltage monitor and a uh, well, sorry, line voltage on the right and then current on the left. You can multiply the two to get um, wattage. And then in the middle, inside, is actually an EMI RFI filter. So uh, when you actually close the breaker here, you turn on um, both the neutral and the hot at the same time. So we'll do that right now. And the cool part about this is we've got all these uh, awesome lights here. This panel was actually bought at a ham fest quite a few years ago when I was 13 or 14 years old. And uh, it's served me quite well ever since. So we'll demonstrate this panel. We start turning things on. There go some of the lights. Okay and uh, so on and so forth. So you get the idea, and then to turn things off and kill all power right here. It's just so much fun to play with this thing. You know, and the other interesting thing is as test gear is uh, turned on and off, you can watch the power consumption Go up. I don't know what else we can turn on here. A few of the SIG gens. There we go. Now we got a solid six or seven amps. Probably put this one on too. So as we uh, we can actually multiply this meter by this meter to get the kilowatts that we're burning right now. And again, to turn everything off, lots of fun. Now the cool thing about this panel is that uh, it's very handy for when you are uh, when you move a lot. So. You know, you need a lot of outlets in a basement laboratory like mine, but usually when you move into another basement, there's only one outlet or something like that. Well, this guy, this one uses a fairly long number 14 gauge power cord, and then we distribute all the power amongst these outlets, and then it's there's a main breaker at uh, 10 or 12 amps, and then these are each uh, fused themselves. So it's actually quite a nice um, setup for a, mo a portable laboratory. Now let's check out the back. Okay, this is the back, and as you can see, it's just a series of outlets and partially covered. Uh, again, I built this when I was 16 years old, and I couldn't find the right size outlet covers to cover all of them individually. So I used the smallest ones I could at the time. Uh, I think if I had to redo it now, I would just machine out a custom plate that, that would go across all of the outlets. All right, let's have a look inside next. Okay, here it is. Here's the inside of this thing. There's where the line voltage comes in and the wiring goes out to the boxes. And around back, uh, if you can see it, here's all the wiring, power supply for the lights, EMI filter, current mirror voltage. Uh, and so all this wiring I did when I was 16. It's quite the project. But it's a super handy um, box. So that concludes my uh, switch box here, or rather the uh, power distribution panel. Hope you enjoyed it.